Jennifer Berry with Earth 911, and I'm here with Phil Rosinski, who is the Director of Sustainability for Hilux Poly, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. And uh, I'm about to go on a tour of the world's largest plastic bag recycling facility. Kind of excited. And uh, before we go in, I thought I'd sit down with Phil and pick his brain about a few things that I think you would find interesting. So, um, Phil, sure. can you tell us a little bit about your back-to-back -back program and how you guys basically are, are zero waste here? Sure. Um, you know... One of the greatest things any industry can do is increase the use of recycled content in its products. And we believe in trying to make our product as close to true cradle to cradle as possible. So we work with retailers uh, when consumers are done with plastic bags. Uh, if you get them at home, like at home every now and then we'll put them all, we get a, that ball of bag. What do you, you know, bags, what do you do with it? I have one of those under <laughs> my sink. It's, it's, it's a growing monster. I have to take my own in. <laughs> sure, yeah. And what you can do is you can bring those back to the grocery store. Most grocery stores in the country now have take back programs, uh, usually at the front of the store you'll see a bin, you can place mm -hmm. it in the bin, uh, and then a company like us, uh, hopefully it's us in most cases, uh, will bring those bags back to our plant and we'll recycle them back into resin pellets and we'll use that to make new bags. Um, and our goal is to uh, get to 40% recycled content within the coming years. Uh, I think our goal is by 2015 right now, I think we're averaging uh, anywhere from 20 to 25% recycled content a year. That's great. And so I, I want to ask you a little bit about the recycled content. Earlier, Phil was telling us about um, what color bags are, and mm. could I have the, could, I, could you pass me the recycled sure. bag? Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, most white plastic bags that you see actually don't contain any recycled content because the color mixture that comes in from all these different uh, grocery sure. stores and different suppliers, like you're talking about, doesn't make it into a white product. It makes it either brown or gray, and you guys sure. have a new program that Gray yes. is the new green. So yeah. can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, and that's kind of interesting. I think we're always kind of taught to think of green as the symbol of environmentalism. Right. And it, it's really good when you think about you know plants and earthy stuff. But when it comes to looking at recycling, gray is actually the best symbol of environmentalism. When we recycle this product, or if you recycle any product, when we bring all these things back, like bags that we're recycling, mm -hmm. the colors merge together. And if you've ever done like finger painting as a kid and you put the colors yeah, together. Yeah, it looks really gross. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> not good at it. Yeah, no. And, but what happens is the colors become gray or brown when you merge them together. So when we recycle resin pellets, they turn into what we call a buff color, typically this, or kind of a gray color. Uh, when we make a bag um, out of uh, buff or gray content, we can easily go above 30 40% recycled content. But because the pellets are colored, we can't put any of that recycled content back into a white bag. Some white bags can contain about, the most is about 10% recycled yeah, content. It's pretty low compared to a 40% recycled rate. Sure. Yeah, uh, so we're helping educate retailers and consumers that, you know, if your store is using a white bag, if you ask them to go to a gray or a buff colored, which is, again, the tan, we can get them to higher recycled content and help everybody in, in the supply chain from the retailer to the consumer use less resources. Jim Machino, please call 205. Jim Machino, please call 205. Okay. Jim, all right. <laughs> so, uh... I think that's so interesting and you know next time you're at a grocery store and you see different colored bags don't feel weirded out about it feel excited because you know hopefully they're engaging in more environmentally friendly practices maybe that's something that you can ask for in your area um, the other thing sure. I was really interested in um, we actually ran a story on Earth Now and one called running out of resin which is hmm. about how we don't recycle enough to keep up with our demand and, okay. and you were saying that you know, you guys could be making 100% uh, post-consumer recycled bags if you had more supply. Sure. Um, you know, uh, people ask, can you make a bag out of 100% recycled content? Yes, you could make a spec bag that would be 100% recycled content. That is possible. One of the biggest challenges we have for true cradle-to-cradle -cradle recycling, and that means the bags going back into bags, is um, depending on the studies, between 48 and 60 percent of bags get reused at home as bin liners or for pet waste. Sure, so they're getting thrown away at the end of the day. It's sure, well, and what they're doing is they're saving from having to produce right, a trash bag. Right, they're being so, reused, but they're not going to be recycled. Correct. So the most we would ever get if the entire country recycled all the bags that were available is going to be about 40 okay. percent. Now, we're working on ways around that because other industries have plastics that they can't recycle or they don't into their products. A common one is stretch film from warehousing operations that's used to wrap pallets uh, okay. so they can go in trucks. We recycle that. 
Uh, we worked with a national retailer that was phasing out their shopping carts, and uh, the plastic shopping carts are made of high-density polyethylene, so we were able to recycle those, and uh, again, all that material, the plastic is reusable, so we're looking for other sources to help make up for that uh, shortfall. Um, so our goal is by 2015 to be at 40%, we're over halfway there, um, and we're looking for new innovations and technologies to recycle other materials. We want to be the industry that helps improve and green other industries. That's fantastic. Well, thanks so much for your time today, Phil. And uh, so don't forget to look for your gray or buff colored bags. Recycle what you can. And uh, looking forward to the tour in a few minutes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Love it.